Chris, Sean, Randy, um, tell us a little bit about your thoughts about the frack waste spill in Vianna Township. Well, I think I'd like to start by giving a response to uh, the people who I saw who are living in the area where uh, the um, issue is. That's the people in Vianna. I went to a community meeting basically to observe what was going on there, and it really broke my heart. I saw grandmothers going in with their grandchildren and coming out in tears. I saw um, men who were uh, oh so very angry. I saw um, officials who were frustrated and didn't know what to say or do. I listened to people from the Ohio Department of Natural Resources and government agencies like that, and um, the, 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 the people's response to them was just um, heartbreaking, is the only word I can think of for it, because it's like the people had petitioned their uh, public officials and had asked for uh, protection, and they were assured by uh, the government, and they were assured by the corporations that everything was going to be just fine, that they were safe, and they weren't. And then I heard that, um, it, that the, uh, the spills and the, and the contaminated water had been found days before the government and the businesses did anything about it. And I thought, this isn't right. This isn't right. Uh, you know, prior to March 25th, actually, I just read that this morning. So yes, it's been a long time since that waste has been out there. Today is April the 11th. 11th. Right. So mm -hmm. we're talking way back in March yet when this spill occurred. Dead fish, uh, dead plants, dead muskrats, all kinds of wildlife out there. The pictures on, um, on the uh, Facebook are absolutely horrid. You're, they're just grueling. You know, you, you wonder, why are we allowing this to happen? You know, what can we do? Well, it's like I keep telling everybody, our government agencies that were started to protect us actually protect the or the corporations from us now myself the first time i was at this location was two years ago when in the summer when we had a protest there and i think mark was there weren't you there doctor no first no. time i was there was after this time. we were trying to warn everybody of what was to come i remember the guy that owned the property there it was a horse farm at that time he says, we're doing everything the government's telling us to do to be safe. What's everybody worried about, you know? Don't worry. <laughs> be it's happy. KDA. And it's the same thing I saw the other night at the uh, that Randy saw and trying to talk to people. You know, how are these people supposed to sit there and be calm? They're waiting to find out if their water's safe or not, whether mm -hmm. their land is safe, whether their homes are going to be safe. When I heard the one official say, if you're going to bathe your children in this water, use cold water and don't get it in their mouth. Mm -hmm. You're going to say that to <laughs> grandmothers and mothers and fathers? This don't get it in their mouth. Don't use warm water to bathe your children. I mean, oh my goodness. Yeah. And the, the meeting, the township meeting was April the 6th. That was Monday. Today is Saturday. You know, and there's been no word. No one's had any word of how safe the water is. We understand by talking to some other folks there that there's ways of putting dye into the well to find out if there is still contamination, if some of the particles are there, if it's remotely safe or extremely unsafe. Nobody knows. They have no intention of testing. When we were at that site, we asked the man from the Ohio EPA what test they intended to run, and he said he didn't need to run any test. He can see the spill, and that's enough. Enough and to know that it is. It's the yeah, he, he doesn't. He doesn't mm -hmm. need to test to see what. And all the dead fish floating around in exactly. it. Exactly. One of the things I want to say, what Randy was saying about taking a shower, and that chemicals can be absorbed through the skin. Mm -hmm. It doesn't yep. matter what temperature or whatever. I mean, it's, you know, it's a thing of relativity. You know, at 100 degrees, it'll transfer through your skin this fast. At 90 degrees, it's a little slower. What's the difference? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to bathe in ice water? 
And I told the one guy at, at the uh, that was coming out of the, the meeting the other night that they need to get you some type of temporary water supply. Man, you some, know? some water buffaloes or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, an another part of this story that um, I find disheartening is the lack of coverage that's occurred for this thing. Absolutely. I, I would have thought that a, a disaster of this magnitude would have made national news. It barely made mention in local news. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like, come on, people. The press is the only business that's mentioned in the Constitution. Mm -hmm. They have a responsibility to us to share this information, and they're not taking their constitutional responsibility seriously enough. Exactly. I guess if you're owned by Fox News or one of the major network corporate structures, that uh, you don't do that because you're concerned about uh, impacting the corporations that uh, buy advertising from you. Mm -hmm. now, I, I can't think of any other reason why not. Well, certainly, we've had so many accidents in Ohio, everything from well explosions to train derailments and these spills that are becoming so commonplace. You're right, we're like desensitized. You know, right. we, we, it's like you, there's so many of them and the environment oh. is becoming so polluted does the media not even think that this is worthwhile having coverage over? You know, what's up? TV and you, stations. And you'd think there'd be some investigative reporter about uh, going on about some of these things. Like we have a radioactive um, processing plant in Youngstown that's related to the fracking industry. We sure do. Have you heard anything negative about that in the local press? I haven't. And you, you know, uh, if a radioactive accident occurs, if there's some sort of spill, Will we even know? Will the press even say anything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe talk a little bit about the location, because I know that's a real... Yeah, within one mile of, of a hospital, within one mile of a major housing project, with mm -hmm. one, within one mile of the mental health center. That's right. Downwind from those places. Mm -hmm. right. And it's uh, still relatively close to YSU also, isn't and it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's a mile and a quarter from Youngstown State University. And how about other schools? Yeah, there's the schools <laughs> almost right across the street from and homes, <laughs> and, and and the homeless shelter. Isn't the city bus the city's uh, school buses are stored right there? And yeah, yeah, you know, it's right across the river. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and yeah, then, isn't there uh, housing development within a mile also? Yes, or there bus? is. Yeah, low income housing, mm -hmm. and, and I know that's off the subject, but it's it's not really because it's it's not. Like, it's we had these kinds of things happen out in Vienna, and they could happen here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and they've taken away our rights. Okay. The community doesn't have the right uh, that we're supposed to. We, they've taken away our constitutional rights to self-governance, and when we say we don't want this, they say there's nothing we can do about it. You can't take away the corporation's personal mm. right to make a profit. Exactly. It's other places, like in Broadview Heights, where they had their community bill of rights taken away from them because uh, the corporations have a right to make a profit. And that's the same kind of talk you're hearing out in Vienna. That's the same kind of talk you hear from the politicians in Youngstown. Mm -hmm. They can't take their rights away, so they take our rights away. Okay. My goodness. Yeah. It's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Final thoughts. That um, taking away our rights, or taking away broad, Broadview, uh, Broadview Heights, Broadview Heights rights has taken the right that right away from everybody in the state and everybody I, I'm wondering why there's no outrage over it mm -hmm. yeah. you know yeah. why <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah. okay Chris Sean Randy Mark thank you thank you for your thoughts today